Hey guys, we're back with Gwythir's playthrough, and we have just arrived at the Irithyll dungeon. Right, that's locked. Cool. What kind of spells or miracles do I have going on here? I actually want to change this out for Caressing Tears, just in case I get those maggots on me or something. Oh, I forgot this item. Ah. I was ready for that. Didn't scare me. Not one bit. Locked, right? Kill this bloke. Dead. Didn't lose too much health there. Crap ahead. Yeah, this guy. First time through here, he pushed me off down to the level below. There's nothing in there worth getting. Kill this guy really quick, too, just in case. Man, still losing health. Keep my crossbow loaded. Important. Nothing in there. This guy's gonna scream at us again. Prepare yourselves. Yep. Let's head downstairs. I should be able to move through this area quite a bit quicker than I did the first time. One hit. Yep. Ow. Try that again. Ow! Stop it! Die. Thank you. And you? If I could just get the right range, they won't hit me. Definitely annoying when they interrupt your attacks like that. This guy's gonna explode. Let's kill him quick. He's gonna explode with maggots. Speaking of maggots... Yep, let's kill you quick. Oh no. He almost got me. Got him. He was also about to explode. Uh-huh, we got this guy. Ow. Ow. Stop hitting me. Oh my gosh, this guy's tough. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna die. Please, just end it. Alright, now that's exactly why I had Caressing Tears. Get rid of those maggots. A torch works too, but it's just fun to utilize with your abilities, you know? Uh, that's it down here, right? Yeah, that's all there is. There's just great magic shield. Good to get. That gate is locked. Up we go. Great. Settle down. Uh-oh. Oh, he tried to barf on me. I thought he was going to explode with maggots. Run and get this bugger. Quit breathing your gas on me. Nice. Lots of large titanite shards. Let's get our healing up. Okay, there's nothing, no way to go through there. It does look like, though, we should be able to. Right, I'm going to leave this guy alive because Gwythir is nice. Making our escape. And there's the first shortcut. This place is full of shortcuts, left and right, all over the place. 
Oh, we can actually open this. Cool. Uh, this has the jail ring. Right, jailbreaker's key. That will allow us to get the bellowing dragon crest ring. How's our health? It's full. Great. A little bit of fall damage. Just gonna kill these things as fast as we can. Oh no you don't. I saw you coming. And you too. I see you. Oh he died inside the wall there. Awkward. Let's do one-handed. Got a bit more range on that attack. Nice. That door we cannot open yet. Let's see if I can't get this crystal wizard really fast. Come on. Oh no. Oh no you don't. You're not escaping me. Got him. Is there any reason to open this? Let's just open it anyway and kill him. I don't think he drops anything as a guaranteed drop. But there's a chance he'll drop his dagger, I'm sure. Nope. Those things remind me of insects more than anything else. Right, before we go out this way, let's actually go up and unlock that door. That allows us to get the Bellowing Dragon Crest ring. We might as well. That's, uh, the key that allows us to do that is the key that we just got. The one that I couldn't find at first with Makuro. Again, I feel like it was a missed opportunity where all of these things that you could bump into that make sound, like these chains or pots, uh, they could have made it so that they alert nearby enemies. Would have been exciting. But alas, they're just there to scare you, it seems. Gotcha. Nice. Well-aimed plunging attack. Oh, don't get hit by the crossbow. Oh no, don't fall either. Oh, come on. That's not what I wanted to do. Darn it. I was trying to get Gentle Prayer up. Doing good damage. Oh, somehow that missed me. Nice. Nothing. Alright. Got a mimic. Let's do it. I can hit it. Whoa, that was weird. Weird things are happening. Easy peasy. In the first game, they made mimics actually scale with the area, so they were a bit more tough as you progress through the game. But they seem to have just kind of kept them all the same in this one, so they're not really that threatening anymore. Oh! That hammer is a bit threatening. Nice. Everything dies. Ow. Nice, that was clean. Clean kills. I'm trying to remember what the best way to go down is. This way? Or we can open that gate? Yeah, this is it. Alright, let's get ready. See if we can get this crystal lizard real quick. Oh, shoot. That's not the best way to do that. Oh, and I'm dead. Wow. Wow, he does a lot of damage. Yeah, it seems the giants do scale with the area, because that guy hits really freaking hard. 
the earlier giants in the Cathedral of the Deep did not hit that hard. And then the ones that we found in Irithyll also did smack you down pretty quick. Oh, shoot. Didn't make it in time. I'm gonna run past all these guys. Thank you very much. Good shortcut. Oh, careful. Ow. I'm gonna fall. Yeah, so they actually have the crossbows that apply bleeding. Splinter, cro splinter bolts, I think they're called. And I found out where you get them from. That's actually what you're able to buy from Withier's third outing to Lothric Castle, which I'm not going to be able to get on the Kuros character anymore, but that's fine, since I planned on using bows on that character anyway. But Gwythir will be able to unlock them and use those bolts in time. Go the other way this time. Kill it. Nice. Now we need to dodge. Whoa! Good. Doing good so far. Just gotta run. Run! We made it. Nice. Can I get this item? I can. Alright, awesome. Uh, do I go forward first or do I go down first? Go down. Please don't kill me. Oof. Kind of close. All right, we've got a mimic to kill here. I'm just gonna let my health regenerate a bit. He should give me some lightning bolts, actually. Big one. Nice. Yeah, so the strong attacks seem to stagger him quite a bit faster. Oh, arrows, not bolts. Okay, fair enough. Come on. Get up that ladder. Keep it moving, buddy. I like how he's got like a like a, a sort of like a bedroll on his back. He's a, a wanderer. I really do love the aesthetics of this night set. Oh, I forgot to get my souls. Good thing I went back here, then. Shoot, we're gonna have to pass the giant again. Not good. Run! High frames. Yes. It didn't completely block all of the damage, but it was close. Run! Oh, and I'm dead. Damn it. Oh man, where are my souls gonna be? I'm not sure. Maybe up at the top of the ladder? Let's hope so. Let's hope that they're not, like, right in between the giant's hands, which is another possibility. A very distinct possibility. Shoot, I'm dying a lot in this area. I expected it to be a breeze. We already did it with Pakura, right? Should have been no problem. Man, that stuff happens fast. I'm just not able to kill them quick enough to avoid that. But breaking their eyesight, their line of sight, seems to be a good way to prevent losing your health to that attack. Oh! I see you. Good one. Nice. I love that Gentle Prayer is still useful. We've come so far in the game. It's the weakest miracle in the whole game, except maybe Heal Aid. And yet... Oh, nice. And yet, it's still going pretty well. Oh, there's an item there that I can get. Hang on. I think what I would like to do is I would like to try and grab that item. Sorry, I cracked my knuckles. Weird habit. I'm gonna have to wake him up, grab the item, and run. goes nothing. Get it? Nice. And run. 
Yeah, oh, man, I wish the iframes would work. Oh, oh no! Ooh, I'm alive. Run. Seems to have worked out. Awesome. Oh, Jesus. That scared the hell out of me. Freaking rats. They are still very annoying. Rats and thralls are the most annoying enemies in the game still. Great, now we've got this whole area. How much FP do I have? Plenty. Let's go unlock the shortcut before I continue further. Then we'll come back and we'll eliminate all of those rats. And fight the giant. <laughs> Camera's flickering because of those beams. And this leads back to the bonfire. Awesome. Down we go. It'd be a good hiding spot to hide on that platform that we passed by. There's nothing there, but you can't jump off to it, I think. All right, let's kill some rats. All right, let's actually switch to a different bolt that's a bit less expensive. I just want to pull the rats to me since I'm not going to be able to one-shot them with the crossbow. Good. Unfortunately, this is going to take a while to kill all these rats. Thank you, iframes. Oh. Gotcha. Get Bountiful Light on. Oh, we could just go with this. I'll let some more rats spawn while I'm doing this. Profaned Flame. I'm glad that doesn't trigger the giant. Ow. Ow. Stop it. Alright, we might as well just get Bountiful Light on then. I'm gonna take that much damage. Making progress. Whoa. Come on, rats. Spawn. I know there's more of you. Is that it? Really? I thought there were more rats than this. Well, fair enough. Time to fight the giant. Get some more damage. Make this go a bit faster. You should have more health than the cathedral ones. It must be annoying as hell to be a giant and have to fight little tiny people on the ground. They're trying to squash a bug it's just too darn fast. Come on. Yeah, a lot of health. Dead. Give me your booty. As in, you know, treasure. Awesome. So, hello. Who is this do we have here? It's Seekward. Awesome. I actually forgot that you could see his cell from this location. Hmm. 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 Ah. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. Pardon me. I was absorbed in thought. Oh. Look at me. 
trapped like a rat. But you needn't worry. <laughs> I get it. I've just been sitting here wearing my options. The moment has almost come. I just need a bit more time. You sure? My liberation requires a key. But the key is outside. Hmm. A riddle for the ages. That's how this usually works when you're in prison. Okay. So there's our new goal. We have to save Sigurd. Um, is there no way up? Right, we can go this way. Up another ladder. Oh my gosh, I am so sick of ladders at this point in the game. <laughs> Please, no more. Give me some more good old-fashioned stairs or something. Almost there. Out the window. A little bit of fall damage. You can correct that, because we've got Gentle Prayer, which is perfect for getting rid of just that little bit of damage. Just that little bit. Hello? Oh, nice. Kill them all. Almost got them all. Alright, now we're in good shape. So now we can go eliminate these basilisks and the mimic that's up ahead. Oh, wrong way. Stairs, always a bit difficult. Old cell key. So that actually, I think, is the key that will free Zeekward. I don't know what of which of these attacks is the grab. You know what I mean? I don't remember what the animation looks like. I've never been hit by it. Dark clutch ring. Oh, and here's the frogs. Get out! We just killed a lot of frogs with that wrath of gods. Oh yeah. Almost all of them. There we go. That went well. My curse resistance, like I said, it used to be abysmal. Back, remember when we did the swamp, I would get cursed, like, instantly. But, uh, my resistance has gone quite a bit. Uh, gone up quite a bit since then. Because of leveling and, uh, my crown. Ow! Jeez. Good. Rats eliminated. With the exterminator. In we go. This gigantic room of fiends. I'm gonna have to fight them all, I think. But first, let's grab the shortcut in case I die. Dragon Torso Stone. I should uh, show you guys that when I get the chance. Hopefully I'll remember. So this should open the gate that leads back into the first dungeon area. We also have uh, a cool miracle that I can grab in a second. I love that I could just walk off. Okay. Let's take care of the lizard men on the left first. Lizard babies. Dragon babies, I guess I could call them. Oh, that's good damage. Oh no. He's about to do something. I don't know what it was. I need to switch to my better bolts here. Uh-oh. Is this the... 
Oh my gosh, yep. Whoa, another one. Ow. Out of stamina. Profaned coal, thank you very much. Tailbone short sword. Okay, let's take a look here. Crafted from a feeble tailbone and seen as a sign of the dragons. Their screams are oft heard inside the dungeon as they naively mutilate their unworthy flesh. Oh my gosh, that is disgusting. That's so horrific that they, they mutilate themselves because they feel unworthy. They're not true dragons. What a horrible fate. Oh no you don't. I see your game. I know what you're playing. Man, there's so many. Oh my gosh. Try and get these two. Oh no! I've been hit! Oh no! No! 40,000 souls in a really bad spot. Oh, what a fool I was. I thought my sword had enough range to hit all three of them, but it was just a little bit too far away, that last enemy, for me to hit it. Darn it, because it's a guaranteed stagger, so if I can hit them quick enough, you know, it's not an issue. All right. Luckily, we do have a shortcut. So I just have to make it to that gate that we opened. And we're in the same spot. Oh, no, you don't. Where is the gate, though? Is it over here? Is this the gate? No, that's not the gate. It must be across the bridge. Darn. So I gotta kill these guys. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah, dodge first, attack second. I've learned my lesson. My health will start coming back, and then I'll be ready to heal. Yeah, here it is. What? I took a little bit of damage from that. Are you kidding me? And fall damage is no joke in this game. Don't fall down the hole, please. Oh, I could jump to that ledge. There's no need, but that's just kind of a cool thing to notice. Look at Gwithir, glowing with holiness. And we're back. Let's see where my souls are. Probably right in the middle of the room. Yep. Okay, so a better way to handle this probably will be to pull each of them over to me. Oh, shoot! Rats! They could smell me, I guess. Come here. You saw me. Come get me. Really? That's it? Ah, uh, are you coming? No? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to manually aim this thing. No? There we go. Please come here. Pretty please. Oh, what do I have to do? Look, I'm here. Come get me. Come here! What about you? You coming? What do I have to do to get these guys to come over to me? Oh, shoot. 
Alright, this guy's coming. Uh-oh. I don't have a lot of health. Come here. I still, I'm still cursed, so I'll, I'll fat roll. Dodge first, and then attack. I'm just gonna have to slowly whittle him down like this. Come and get me. Okay, do your thing. Whoa, that was close. Thank you. Next. Oh, whoops. Uh-oh, I'm stuck on the stairs. <laughs> Come here. Alright, dodge. And attack. Very good. How many are left? I could just finish you with my crossbow, it seems. Works for me. I got my souls back, so that's good. Oh. Kill it quick. Alright, his buddy's coming. Dodge. Is this the last one? Nice. Very nice indeed. Alright, let's go around and collect our items. Our rewards. Oh, I hear you. I know you're there. Alright, let's go get this last one. Come here. Come on. I don't want to fight you in this hallway. Go! Whoa, that was farther reach than I expected. Oh, you dropped something for me. Soldering iron, that's cool. Alright, this is actually a pretty cool weapon. It has an interesting ability. So, you can press its searing tip against foes to inflict fire damage and temporarily block Estus healing. Very much like a Lloyd's Talisman. So, pretty cool, I must say. Xanthus Ashes. Dust Crown Rings. Settle down. That one did scare me a little bit, I forgot. All right, let's take out this mimic. Oh, I'll lead it out here first. Come on, come on, buddy. He's stuck. Oh my gosh, he's stuck. It makes me nervous when enemies are stuck. It makes them a bit less predictable. Can I hit him through the wall? Maybe through this wall? Yeah, ha. Huh? Fine. This is how we're gonna do it. And this is how we're gonna do it. Oh, shoot. He can hit me through the wall, too. I don't think he can grab me through the wall. Oh, that was close. That was a grab. Done. It was weird, but I'll take it. Ah, symbol of avarice. I already have one of those, unfortunately. It's Makuro that I need one of those on. Let me just double check the only thing left is the Carla cage. Yeah, it's just Carla. So we're all done here. We can move on. On to the profaned capital. We need to save Secret. And the only access to his cell is from the profaned capital.
What's this, a soul? Probably. Yep. Soul of a weary warrior. I'm not sure how much that is. Maybe 8,000? You just come over here, why don't you? Don't want to fight on that bridge. No, thank you. Come on. Oh, can't see. Let's get some healing. Please don't hurt me. Oh, oh you got me. Shoot. Those flying attacks are the ones that are really tough to avoid. Completely. Can't see. He's blocking. Maybe I should do this. Whoa! That was interesting. Uh oh. Shoot! Good. No problem. No problem, Mom. All right, now we're free and clear to the bonfire, unless I do something ridiculous, like fall off of the edge. Let's check this guy out. Did you try and fight it on the bridge and fall off? Oh, he's got the great axe. Yep, and he rolled off. That's why you don't fight the thing on the bridge, man. That's why you pull it back, where you've got room to move around, to bob and weave. You touch my weave. Up the ladder to get my one of my favorite gestures. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. And a bone shard. How nice. How nice. Rest it up. How many souls do we have? 53,000. I'm going to go back and level up before continuing. I think that is wise. Very wise. Uh, so we're at plus 7. This is going to make it plus 8. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I always forget that I even have a storage box. I don't use it, but I should... Uh, and that will bring our Estus recovery up to 180, so I would actually like to upgrade my attunement just a tad. Just a little bit. Yeah, perfect. And then how about my endurance? Can I level that once too? Great. I'd love to get another level in if I can. Let me just test Great Heal. Yeah, okay, so we still need more endurance. Let's eat one of our souls. Ooh, we've got a bunch of souls. How much is it to level? Oh, we only need just a tiny bit more. This this should do right here. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Now we're 24 and 24. I like it. And we're level 60. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Is it enough? No, it's still not enough. We're still going to need more endurance. That's crazy. But for now, this is satisfactory. I'll, I'll, I'll hang out at this level for a bit. Seems good to me. Mm. Alright, we've spent our souls. Oh, wait a second. Do I have a shard? I do. Alright, let's not forget to do that, too. And the coal. But good. Great, 13. Lucky 13. Or is it unlucky? Umbral Ash. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a nice day. And we're ready. Profane Capital. Let's do it up. On with our quest to save our Sigurd bro. Onion bro. Brosif. Our bestest buddy. Which means we need to go down this way. Let's 
her damage again right now? 335. That's magnificent. And it's not split damage. It's all physical. Get ready to face this gargoyle up ahead. Alright. Uh-oh. Oh, bad dodge. Learned my lesson. Okay. You're just gonna keep doing that attack? Good. Nice stagger. You gonna block now? Yeah, that's what usually happens there. Oh, shoot. Whoa. Come on. Do something punishable. Rats. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is punishable. No, it's not. He blocked immediately. Wow, this guy is very defensive. Ow. Oh my gosh. Let's do this then. Alright, he broke his guard. Kill it! Oh no, I was out of stamina. Ooh. This is bad. At least my healing is still on. Come on, just one more... One more hit. That's all I need. Are you serious? Oh, wow. I actually hit him with the animation of stabbing the sword into the ground. I didn't just hit him with the... I wonder if that's parryable, if people can parry that part of the animation. I bet they can. Sip up. Oh, you know what? I forgot to attune an additional miracle. We now actually have an extra slot because we've hit 24. Attunement. I'm surprised my sword didn't bounce off the walls there. Good. All is well. Rusted coin. That should be just about everything over on this side. And then this is going to be some blooming moss, which we don't need because we have caressing tears. What a useful utility miracle that is. Miracles have a lot of good utility type things. I mean, the Ulusil sorceries are pretty good for utility, and there are some resistance type things for pyromancy, but nothing compares to the miracle utilities like buffs and stuff like that. All right, nothing to do but to just get down there. Let's put Bountiful Light on, because we're going to get poisoned immediately. And here we go. Come get me. No big deal being toxic, really. Oh shoot, what the? He jumped over me. Man, I have a huge amount of endurance on this character, and yet I always feel like I'm running out of endurance. It must just be my play. I need to be pausing in between my attacks a bit more, letting my endurance regenerate. That is an annoying sound. It's the sound of my, my buffs going on and off constantly. Sorry, there's nothing I can do. I wish I had Blessed Weapon now. That would be helpful. Interesting how Gentle Prayer does not take any endurance. Any stamina, sorry. Endurance is the stat. Stamina is the actual green bar, what that's called. One at a time. We'll take them down. That is a, like, a toxic poisoning attack, but it's not like it's going to be helpful to us because 
already toxic. I mean, it's not going to be hurtful, harmful. Oh my gosh, words. Hey, what's up? I wonder if it can beat the Toxic back. No, it's even. It doesn't beat it back. But we have Caressing Tears, and then I'll get my health back. Great! Let's go up first. By far the easiest way to tackle this area, since that bottom room with the three Hippo Monsters is the only difficult part, really. Alright, we have an enemy up ahead. A sorcerer. Let's get ready for that. Oh, he's seen me already. Wow, we do a lot of damage. Oh, I thought I could get a backstab. It was close. Whoa, charge attack. He tricked me. And you're dead. Logan Scroll, thank you very much. Okay, I think the first thing to do will be to go and save Secret. Remember, we've checked out the cell before on Makuro, but he wasn't there, of course, because we haven't been doing his quest line. Was that an item? No. Not an item. Yay! Here he is! Once again, you are my valiant savior. I, Siegfried of Katarina, express my deepest gratitude. Take this, a token of my thanks. Go on, it's all yours. Why, thank you, Siegward. I really appreciate it, buddy. Ah, no, please. Go on ahead. I've my own road to take, and... A duty to fulfill. Very soon. Ah, no. I am. Okay. So he's here gonna next uh, fulfill his quest, his duty, which we'll find out shortly what that is. Um, but he also gave us our very first Titanite slab, which allows us to reinforce any weapon to the highest level. Once, of course, you've gotten it to plus four or for special weapons or for normal weapons plus nine. You use the slab to get it up to plus five or plus ten, respectively. Let's pop in here and grab that all-important ring after we eliminate these blokes. Oh, I didn't do it in one hit. That's too bad. Jailer's key ring. Thank you. Okay, let's finish off the hippo area. And yes, we can finally get Wrath of the Gods. Now we'd actually just use the miracle ourselves if we wanted to, rather than having to use the weapon art of our sword. Good, that was a lot of damage. Oh, shoot. Man, that was fast. I don't remember you being that fast. Whoa! Big one. Even big ones don't do much for these guys. Get out! Close. Oh, shoot, those hand attacks. They're really messing me up. Almost there. Great. We did not get Eleonora. I think it's like a random hippo that drops that. No, it's not. It's one of the ones that's down below. The one that's awake. This is going to be the court sorcerer's staff, I believe. Not useful to Gwythir, but let's kill the Mimic for the souls, for sure. 
I think they're like 2,000 souls each. Not bad. Especially since now they're ridiculously easy. Yep. Court Sorcerer Staff. 2,000 souls. And yes. Item. Great. So now all we have left is the big hipper room. We can get Eleonora, which is actually something I'm interested in using uh, on this character eventually, once I can buff up uh, my strength a bit. Here we go. It's darn hippos. And the first one is coming already. Wow, that does nothing. That also does nothing. Oh, shoot. Critical. That worked out. Let's do this now. Oh, shoot. I missed completely. What are you gonna do? Yeah, that attack is no fun. Get out! Somehow I survived. Alright, I'm gonna get toxic! Woo! Close. Run! Darn it. That's fine, I guess. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. As long as I have caressing tears, not a big deal. Now, what are the stat requirements for Eleonora? Wow, 20 strength. Although, I only need to have less than that in order to use it with two hands. What do I have now? Um... I need one more strength in order to use it with two hands. That's not bad. I may very well do that soon. Shoot. Did I try to fight these guys? Oh no, I've been eaten! Press buttons, press buttons! Let me go! Oh no! I'm stuck! I'm trapped! And I'm dead. Wow, I hope those don't respawn. Ah, oh, Jiminy Crickets! Jiminy Crickets. By the way, though, guess what I can do? I can attune another spell! Hey, hey! Alright. And we have Lightning Blade. That a kitty. But that is going to take 30... Eighth. So that's going to be my next goal, I think. What shall I use, though? What is going to be useful here? Ooh, Dory's Gnawing. Okay, let me actually use that. That could be fun. And actually, those hippo creatures are weak to bleed. So this could be the strategy, the winning strategy. I don't know how many souls that I had on the line, but I bet it's at least 10,000. It's probably more than that, actually. Bountiful Light. Thank you very much. Oh, come on. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I almost lost my voice. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Alright, bring it on, Gargoyle. Oh. Don't get greedy. Oh, he's doing this stupid thing. What if he could fall off if I knock him back like that? Ah! Mistimed. Oh, shoot. At least he's dead. Uh, 2,500 souls for that guy. I probably had closer to 20,000 souls then when I died, considering how many I'm getting from all of these enemies. Ew, you can hear them crawling around in the sewage below. They're so gross, all their legs. Like, if you were scared of The Ring, the movie The Ring with the girl with the long hair, and you're scared of spiders, then uh, 
these are just devastating. I'm going up and dropping down. It's just faster and safer. Oh my gosh. What horrible things Miyazaki has dreamed up for this game. And I hear it's nothing compared to Bloodborne. I'm really looking forward to playing Bloodborne when I get the chance. Hey. Back. Okay. It doesn't look like they respawn. This is good. Very good. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start hitting it with Dory's gnawing. Did Bleed kick in already? Not sure. I think Bleed is kicking in immediately every single time I hit it. Oh, critical! Yes! Use the immunity. Don't be stuck, please! Alright, let's get it going. Dory's gnawing again. Nice. And you. Wow. So because they are susceptible to, susceptible to bleed, and Dory's gnawing is, can cause the most bleed up out of, uh, with one hit, than anything in the game, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I haven't tested it. I just imagine that that is probably the case. Yeah, over 20,000 souls. Nice. Um, I actually imagine that it was getting bleed rocking on every single hit, I think, because it, I think that's what was happening there. Okay. So now we are ready to take on the profane capital. I don't feel too worried about going in there with this many souls. It should be fine. Oh, you know what I should do, though, is I should change Dory Snowing to something that's going to be more useful to me. But what? But what? Lightning Spear? I don't think so. Emit Force, maybe? Yeah. Emit Force. Why not? Who knows? Could be useful. And down we go. Tally-ho. That ladder is so long, it even takes a long time to slide down the ladder. Alright. I'm gonna get ready here with as much healing as I can for the run. I think I'm actually going to go down this right side first this time. Oh! Whoa, the tracking on that is just insane. I'm doing it based off of timing here. Alright, so far so good. Let's wreck him. Revenge! Ow! That's a little tough. Wow, they are actually pretty strong. Like, HP-wise, I mean. Ow! Give me the backstab. That's fine, too. Great. Now I can safely just go and grab the items over here. Oh, look at this item that's kind of just a little sneaky. What is it? A rusted coin. I missed that on Makuro, I think. And we've got another rusted coin. Lots of treasure here at the profaned capital. But I have no interest in money. Nor fame. I do this out of a desire to be the hero, to be the one to link the flame and preserve this world. We should be getting a gargoyle dropping down on me pretty soon. Where are you, gargoyle? Aha! I got 
got lucky. Nice. Alright, let's wreck these guys. With the uh, Wrath of Gods, maybe? Nice, that actually did really well. Ow! Stop that! Backstab? It's not a one-hit kill. That's fine. Oh, that wasn't even a kill. What's going on here? Did I miss? Oh, stop that. I keep wasting my crossbow bolts for no reason. Oh, shoot. Wrong spell. Or miracle, I should say. Come here. Oh, shoot. That was quick. Ow. Nice. That worked out. Okay, so now we've just got the big room. One more gargoyle, uh, two mimics, and a whole lot of those, like, profane capital handmaids. I don't even know what they're called. These freaky maidens. Why don't you come down? Yeah, there we go. Come over here, why don't you? Oh, shoot. Uh. Oh, no, I got one of the mates with me. Not good. Ah! This is bad. I need to back up. Back up and heal. Even if it's just a little bit. Oh, you are fast. Whoa. Alright, that worked out. What are you gonna do? I got something for that. Oh yeah. See, that is what emit force is good for. It can just obliterate an opponent's guard. No problem. Now it's just a big old room full of aids. All gonna start breathing fire, right? Ugh. Okay. Are you serious? They just obliterated me while I was doing my. Ah, no! Why did they do so much damage with that fire? My health just disappeared. It was gone almost in the blink of an eye on a low damaging, but I guess continuous attack. So, suppose that damage can build. And I have a lot of souls. You know what? I think that means I should be using the Ring of Sacrifice. Yeah. And... Let's get ready. Run! Oh, there's an item here? Oh, great arrows. Ow! Ow, leave me alone! This is bad. Panic roll. It's the only way. I don't think he can fit through the door, so I'm in the clear. For now. Now we've got another gargoyle to face. Hey, what's up, buddy? Shoot. 
Again. There we go. You get counterattack damage on that too. Instability frames. And he's like staggered from breaking his guard. Quite nice. We can ignore those ladies. Where are my souls? I think I can actually just run over here and grab these real quick. I just want to prepare myself for the battle that will ensue. Thank you. If I can, can I take this off? Ah, hello. Darn it. I got you again. Let me get a backstab. Yes. Die. Alright, now it's just me and you. Mono we mono. Oh shoot. The spears. I have a much harder time with these spears. They're quick. Oh shoot. What kind of combo was that? I'm gonna be stuck. Oh my gosh. Hang on. Here he comes. Just let me heal for a bit, bro. Oh no, that's the one that's really hard. Uh-oh, I'm gonna die. Let's get a heal off. He should let me. Yeah, all is well. And he's doing this, huh? Uh-oh. Oh! Come on. I'm so close. Come on, kill him! Yes. Okay, so lesson learned. Let's pull these guys over one at a time. Yes, come to me. Oh, did I get two? Two is fine. It's not all of you. No, not all of you. Just two. Here we go. Great. And I did not anger the mimics. Fantastic. Oh no, that was really close. Oh, so was that. I took way too many risks on that fight. They're starting to feel too easy, but I have to remember they're still mimics. They can still hit really hard or get you with the grab, which devastates your health. My health is not so high that I shouldn't be worried. But yeah, that kick. The kicks do real damage. And we've got one more over here in the corner. Was it just an ember that you give me? Yep. Hey, I'm not knocking it. Embers are still useful. I don't have so many that I'm not going to turn down an ember. Okay. So, we are ready for a boss fight. I think. And now, we can see how this goes, how this boss fight goes, if you complete Zeekward's questline. Yes, cutscene. <laughs> He's like, what? Oh, hey, you're here. Yom. Old friend. I, Siegfried of the Knights of Katarina, 
have come to uphold my house. Let the sun shine upon this lord of Cinder. Darn Tootin. And here we have it. Zeekward is Yorm's old friend from an age past, and Yorm had him promise that if he ever uh, abandoned his duty to link the flame, that he was to come and help the Unkindled, or just do it himself, take him out. Now, if you don't have Zeekward with you, you can still come to the back of the room, grab the Storm Ruler, and use its special ability to make this fight a whole lot easier. Just charge it up. Let's take him down, Zeekward. Oh yeah. Wow, that took all of my endurance. He has no chance. Uh, coming for me. Just getting hit over and over again. Poor Yorm. Here we go. That'll give Zeekward time to charge up his attack, maybe? No, he's not gonna do it. He's trying. Alright, go for it, Zeekward. This is it. Double! Double! Oh, he's still not dead? He must have had some iframes from before. Uh-oh. Ah, shoot. And he's gone. Quick, put the ring. Put the ring on. Seems I am in your debt once again. My thanks. I could have not kept my promise without you. Now, for a final toast. Deep brow. To your valor and my old friend Yorm. Yes, to Yorm. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. You are a true friend. Best of luck with your duty. And there's the cutscene. So, remember I've talked about how each of the lords seem to have different reasons for abandoning their thrones. I think Yorm has just gone hollow. He's just sad and alone and... He lost his desire to maintain his sanity, and so, you know, he didn't know what he was doing. He was hollow. That's why he needed a friend. He needed Secret to help him fulfill his duty. So this is interesting. We've already killed the Dancer, so we're going to be teleported in there. We'll get the Basin of Vowels, and then, you know, we've already done that bit, so... We don't need to do it again. Actually, we've already got the Basin of Vows. Also, Emma's dead. So how are we hearing her voice? That's a little bit of a plot hole. <laughs> I guess it's her spirit. Her spirit lives on within us, within our bosom. Yep, here we are. Emma's spell teleporting us in despite the fact that she is dead. And we already have the ladder, and the bonfire, and the dancer's dead, so fair enough. We have a lot of souls, so we do need to spend them, but before I do that, uh, let's... We have some unfinished business, so Cirrus of the Sunless Realms. The last thing we did was we helped her defeat Creighton the Wanderer, which is one of, I think, Rosaria's fingers, maybe? Or no, just, a, just an invader. But there's another part to her quest, and to finish it, we actually need to go to... Where's the fastest way? Here. We need to go back to the doors right outside the boss room for the cursed Greatwood. Yeah. And there we go, because we defeated Yorm, our third Lord of Cinder. The sky is all spooky now. It's a little weird. When I spawned in, the enemies seem to have been aggroed. Something. 
And so the whole, like, the lighting has changed throughout the whole world. All of the areas are going to seem, like, a little bit different. A bit of a different tone to them. A bit darker. As the game progresses. That, uh, the fire fades. And so that's what's going on. And here it is. Answer Seers of the Sunless Realm's call for cooperation and be summoned as a phantom. Yes, please. I would love to. I think uh, this this bit is actually easier than fighting Creighton. Creighton can be tough. And this guy's got a lot of HP, and you may recognize him. We're back here in the Pit of Hollows. Just as I promised, Grandpa. Remember? It's Horus. And Horus is actually Cirrus's grandfather, as we now find out. He's gone mad, apparently, and now she is here to put a stop to him. You trying to parry me, man? Ow. Oh my gosh, I'm using the wrong sword. That explains that. I was actually doing pretty good damage even with the other sword. Uh oh. I missed. I need to heal. Back up a bit. He's got his own healing thing. Ow! Oh, that's gonna eliminate me. I need to heal, and hopefully heal her. Oh, I can't. Oh, but that thing heals me. Nice. Yeah, so I stand corrected. Hodrick is not easy. I forgot, he still hits like a truck. Yeah, he does have a ton of HP. So, if he parries me, he might be able to one-shot me. I'm gonna try and avoid that as best I can. Oh, no. That's bad. Oh, my gosh. Don't kill me, please. Rats. I was hoping they also heal Cirrus with that one. Oh, she's gonna die. Cirrus, you need to heal. Oh my gosh, Cirrus. Uh, <laughs> I can't talk. Cirrus, please heal. For the love of God, please heal. I'm trying to keep his attention on me. If you hit him, that's who he's aggro to. So by hitting him, I'm keeping his attention on myself. And if I don't do that, Cirrus is totally going to die. Let's see if I can heal her. She's going to die. She's, uh, <laughs> she's going to dead? She's going to die. Ah, darn it. That was close. She must have just ran out of mana or something. I don't know why she wasn't healing there at the end. And I wanted to move in and heal her, but what would happen is if I go to move in to heal her, she would hit Hodrick and pull his attention, which then made me have to go pull his attention again instead of healing her. Ugh. I thought this would be really easy, but it's proving to be a bit more of a challenge than I expected, at least a little bit. All right. Found you. Just as I promised, Grandpad. Remember? Are you serious? She's gonna die immediately. Sirius, you better go and heal while I handle this guy. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious, Sirius. Thank you. Thank you. Backstab. Nice. Let's get this going. Oh, wow. He dodged it. Impressive, Audric. Oh, I stopped his parry. That would have that could have been the death of her. Oh, no. I'm dead. <laughs> this time, I was the one who died. He hits hard. A two-hit combo finishes me. Oh, and look. There's Cirrus dead because of the nice parry. I stand corrected. Uh, the last time I fought him must have been in a playthrough where I had a lot more HP and just did a lot more damage or something because he is tough. He is destroying us, just wrecking us left and right. Well, all I can do is keep trying. Never give up. Never surrender. By Grapthor's hammer, you shall be avenged!
slow walking. Look at Sira slow walking up there. I All right, I better hurry up you. and get in there and do the buff. Just as I please, he's coming. Okay, mm -hmm. good. He paused. Oh man, he's wrecking her. Get a charged attack, shall we? Oh no, he's really good at dodging. Careful not to get parried. By the way, she's using Dark Moon Blade, which is the a buff that I'm not going to be able to get on the Kuro. That's the one that you get from the Dark Moon Blades. I mean, obviously. Oh, seriously? Well, at least she's healing. Man. Uh-oh. -uh. Oh, no, you don't. Backstab time. He is a tank. Don't parry me. Don't parry me. Don't heal! No! That's right, come to me. Uh-oh. What an engaging fight, I must say. Very engaging. Shoot. Uh-oh. Yes, take him down. Wombo combo. Oh, shoot. Good, we got a backstab. Let's keep him occupied while she heals. Alright, he's out. Dead angled. Whoa. Oh, we're so close. Nice, I stopped his attack. Heal off here. Oh no. I forgot. I'm out. Alright, here we go. Oh shoot! No, she's gonna die. Really need to keep his attention on me right now. Die! Please! Die! Yes! Look how close she was to dying. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness. Good night. That was really tough. Oh, hey, the roof is back. Oh, right, because it's in her world. She may not have actually killed the curse rotted great wood. All right, victory. Well, that is satisfying. Sweet, sweet, sweet victory. Yeah. Oh, look how sick this looks. The big pit. And then up here the sky and the rays of eclipse light okay now we need to go back to the shrine we have also have some unfinished business outside the shrine now that we have killed uh hodrick she should be sarah should be waiting to thank us back here oh there you are i'm afraid i've involved you in my affairs over a little promise at that my sincerest thanks for your assistance. At last, my grandfather will rest in peace, and I can die. But there is one last. May I take a vow to serve you as a knight? Sure, but if you're going to die, I don't know how useful oh, you're going to be. I am most grateful. I, Cirrus, do hereby serve as your faithful knight. Wherever, whenever I am needed. My loyalty shall never waver. Weird, the audio stops the there for the dialogue. If I may ever be, I am your blessing. Now, you can actually kill her here to get the Sunless Talisman, the one that we got on Makuro because we killed her really early. Uh, and she will not fight back. She's your 
loyal servant now. If you want, you can kill her and get the Sunlight Talisman. I'm not sure if you can get it any other way. I think you do eventually get it later on, but it's way later. Maybe. Um, but instead of doing that, let's first of all go to Lublith and let's get some boss items. Actually, just one boss item, right? Uh, Yorm is the only new boss that we defeated. Uh -huh. so um, yeah, we can get Yorm's machete. Is there anything else? No. Alright, and now, if we actually exit the shrine, and we go and visit, what we will now find out is her grandfather's grave, Podrick's grave. We can get, I think, his shield, and I think we can buy his armor at the, the handmaid. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, his grave is all the way out here next to the... Oh, hang on. Check this out. This is going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Sunset shield. And this is a cool shield. Actually, let me try it on. See how I like it. Uh, it's 100% physical, which is nice. Anything special. Engraved with brilliant flame crest that burns brightly within the Order's customary sunset colors. This design symbolizes those who both harbor and oppose the power of flame. I like it. And I have enough strength to wield it. This, I think, is my new favorite shield to use with this character. And we can just barely fit it. Uh, also, let me change this ring. We were wearing the Sun Princess ring. I, yeah, okay. So yeah, check this bad boy out. I want to go back and upgrade it immediately. Right away. Is it a parry shield? Oh, it's a parry shield. Nice. I want to maintain that ability. And I think it has good stability, right? 49? That's not bad. Let's see how high we can get the stability if I upgrade it. Hey, bro. Reinforce. Uh, what does it cost to reinforce this? It uses Titanite shards. Great. We've got plenty of those. Uh, we don't have plenty of these, but let's do it anyway. Yep. Up to plus six. So we were able to get the stability up to 56, which is really nice. And it's a, uh, a medium shield, right? Yeah, so it's got the medium shield parry. And it fits the theme that I've got going on here. So I am very happy with the way our character is turning out here. I gotta say, the shield fits the theme, my sword and the crown all comes together to make a, like, kind of Holy Knight vibe, which is really what I'm going for. Alright, so, I think that that should end what I've been trying to do here. Oh, do we have, hang on, we don't. One more thing. So, this guy, his name is Hawkwood, he's the Crestfallen Warrior who abandoned the Abyss Watchers. How is this thing loading again? What did I do? I didn't even rest at a bonfire, did I? Maybe I did, I don't know. Oh well. But we can actually go outside now and visit that grave that you can often find him at. Did we get a seed? Yes. Give me your seed. Hang on, let me just eliminate this dog really quick. Get it out of the way. Man, I love this shield. I'm really happy with that. And then what if we put the crossbow on the other side, if we're not going to be using the Sunlight Straight Sword that much? Let me try this. Oh man, look at Yorm's great machete. 38 strength, by the way. So, how much strength do we need to two-hand it? Uh, you get a 50% bonus. So we definitely need at least 20. I think we need 24? No, that doesn't sound right. Uh, we need 25, 26. I think 26 strength to wield it two-handed. And look, we get Hawkwood's shield. Shield that belonged to Hawkwood, a deserter from the Undead Legion. So this is actually where you find 
out for sure that he was in fact a deserter from the Undead Legion, even though you can kind of figure it out from his armor, and that his name is Hawkwood. You never get his name before this. The unique swordsmanship of the Watchers does not normally allow for the use of shields. The unique, uh, the unique swordsmanship of the Watchers would not allow such a shield, and Hawkwood's very possession of it was telltale of his defeat. I thought it was a typo and it was repeating itself. It was a little weird. Yeah. There we go. It's it's kind of terrible. It's a really bad shield. Like, it's just kind of below average stats all around. Uh, but it's extremely light. And I guess that is really its only redeeming factor. It weighs two. So it's only outclassed in weight by the smallest of shields. And it is, in fact... Oh, also a small shield. So it'll have the small shield parry timings, I guess. I don't know. The shield kind of looks like crap to me. I don't think you could ever really want it in any capacity. But that is the end of this part for Gwythir. So thank you guys very much for watching the playthrough. I'm really excited to continue with our awesome new shield. It just looks so good. I mean, and it's like, it's a decent shield. It's not bad. It boasts a uh, really horrible dark defense, unfortunately, is the only bad thing about it. But then all around it has good defenses and good stability and it can parry, which is nice. I don't like the weapon art shields all that much. It's not really a big deal to just two-hand your darn weapon to use your weapon art. So, it's only very selectively useful. Uh, but thank you guys very much for watching. And we will see you tomorrow in the next part. Bye-bye.